Hey guys, before we start, a couple of things. First of all, if you didn't already know, my Lucid Dreaming book just released. It's called The Lucid Dream Book. There's a link in the description. Check that out. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to give out a discount code for my previous Lucid Dreaming product, which is my audio course. So if you've been wanting to get that for cheap and you've been waiting for the right time, stick around to the end of this video and you might just be able to do that. Anyway, on to the video. Five things you can do to have longer lucid dreams. Number one, avoid getting too excited. You are very, very close to being awake during REM sleep, which is the stage of sleep when lucid dreams occur. This means that it is incredibly easy to wake up. So any little bit of excitement can startle you awake. And if you get too excited, that's the end of your dream right there. The more stable that a dream is, the more excited that you can get without waking up. Now, dreams tend to stabilize as you've been in them for a little bit and tend to be the least stable when you enter them. So you want to especially try and keep calm when the dream first starts out. Number two, rub your hands together or touch things or engage your senses in some way or another. The dream around you is being created by your subconscious mind and the subconscious tends to rule by belief. So what do I mean by that? Well, basically, if you believe something works in a dream, it usually does because your subconscious then kind of takes that as fact and that's how things behave. This means that by convincing yourself that the world around you is stable and is real, you can make it so. Now, you don't actually have to believe that, you know, you're in the real world or anything like that. You just have to convince your subconscious and you can do this by interacting with the world around you. When you touch something and it feels real, it tells your subconscious, hey, this is real, solidify everything, stabilize everything. So basically engaging your senses, interacting with objects, touching things or rubbing your hands together, convinces your subconscious the dream world is real and allows you to have a stable dream. A stable dream is then likely to last a lot longer and then you can go off and do whatever it is that you wanted to do. Number three, take deep breaths or even sit down to meditate. Relax. The best way to stay calm and avoid waking up is to take things slow and easy. Take a few nice deep breaths and consider even sitting down and watching the world go by for a moment or two until the dream becomes stable and then you can just do whatever you like. You can even sit and meditate during this time and do something useful while you wait for stability. Meditation during a dream can be a wonderful experience and so I highly recommend trying it out anyway, but it's especially good to try when your dreams are not lasting as long as you'd like them to. Number four, try spinning around in circles. So another stabilization technique involves spinning really quickly in circles. Now, this can do two things. One, it can stabilize the dream right away or it can do another thing. So be warned that the other thing that this can do is make the dream end or make it seem like the dream is ending and like you're waking up in bed. Don't worry though, you're not necessarily waking up. Be patient and wait for a few moments and a new dream should usually start to form. Which leads me to number five. Be patient if a dream ends or you find yourself waking up. So remember what I just said about how spinning can make it seem like you're waking up when in actual fact, if you just wait, you can enter a new dream. Well, the same goes for if you feel like you're waking up from a dream. Instead of opening your eyes and getting up out of bed, lay very, very still and just wait. Wait a few moments and you should find that while everything is black and it doesn't seem like you're in a dream anymore, you start to slowly find yourself entering a brand new dream or even entering the one that you just left and continuing it off. This will let you continue your adventures a lot longer than if you just get up and out of bed every time that you think your dream is over. So as I mentioned earlier, the Lucid Dream book just released, eight chapters, 51,000 words, and over a decade of knowledge packed into it. The purpose of this book was to be the one book, the only book that you actually need to lucid dream. That's why it's called The Lucid Dream Book. Part of my idea with this book is that, you know, if YouTube ever dies someday down the line, if you've got the book, you don't have to worry about the fact that you can't find any of my videos anymore because the book already has everything you could need or want to know about lucid dreaming in it. Now, if you want to know exactly what's in the book, then check the link in the description or go to gum.co slash the lucid dream book. And I've actually listed what's in every single chapter in the book there. 
So go check that out, that's gum.co slash the lucid dream book. Now, those of you who stuck around to the end, thank you for sticking around. This does help YouTube promote my videos. So as a thank you, I am giving out that discount code that I mentioned for my lucid dreaming course. Yes, I know I've been giving all the love to my lucid dream book because it just released and I haven't given out any discounts for my course recently. But today I'm finally giving one out. Use code LUCIDITY at checkout to get 33% off my Advanced Lucidity audio course. There should also be a link in the comments somewhere that will automatically apply the discount code or use the link in the top right hand corner or down in the description below. Thanks for watching guys, make sure you subscribe and enable notifications and if you want to keep watching, pick one of those videos on screen, go watch that and I will see you there soon, take care.